So for this first chord progression, let me start with the main shapes that we would be using normally. So G, D, E minor, and then C. I want to change this slightly and I want some different uh, notes on top. So I'm going to keep the third and fourth fingers, third and pinky, down throughout. So that's going to be a G as it is. Then I'm going to go for this shape here which is now becoming a D sus4. I'm gonna to go to the E minor, keep those fingers down, and now this gives me an E minus seven. And then if I do the same with a C chord, it becomes a C ab nine. Make my life a little easier with the fingerings. So I'm gonna keep the third and fourth finger down throughout. And this is gonna create some interesting melodic um, voicing, like I said. So the high notes are going to be the same, but I'm going to be changing the harmony and the chords, of course. So G stays as it is. Then instead of a normal D, I'm just going to go ahead and play a D sus4. That's what's happening here. Yeah, third and fourth fingers are down. Then the same thing happens with the E minor. I'm just going to go and fret as I would an E minor, but with these extra two fingers here. And this is giving me an E minus seven, very cool sound. And then last one, I'm gonna just go for a C, but instead of a normal C, I'm gonna finger this. So still the same thing is down and now I'm adding, well, the root and the third. In any case, the lower notes of this chord. So that's what this is doing now. I've got an easier change because of the fact that I'm holding down the fingers and also this is a good exercise for um, you know, keeping fingers down, keeping them fretted while changing chords. And easier, like I said, because obviously you've got those common notes and that means an easier transition, so. Very melodic as well. Now, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna apply this to a chord progression so we can just work with it and get used to um, you know, using it in a real time rhythm environment. So let's go slow. Let me just, actually I'll play the chord progression full speed then we can break it down. So three, four. Excellent. So I'm starting with uh, an easy shape with eighth notes, basically. So let's check out the G slow. So. Right, so this is down, down, up, down, up. Next one is similar, but I've got a longer note in the end. So I'm going to the D sus4, and at this time it's So down, down, up, down, longer final note. And then the same rhythms happen again for the next chord. So E minus seven, remember third and fourth fingers are firmly down, nothing changes here. And I'm going with. So down, down, up, down, up. Yeah, same as a G chord. C now, the C add nine is gonna be the same rhythm as the D, so I'm going. to close the chord progression. So again, down, down, up, down. Let's put the whole thing together slow and follow the strums. It's pretty easy. Most important thing, what I want you to focus on here is keeping those two fingers down and moving the rest of the fingers around those. Okay, so this is a little bit of a, you know, brain work more than, well, obviously it's muscle work as well, but your brain needs to give the instruction here that these fingers are not moving. Everything else is moving around that. Let's go slow, so three, Four. Excellent, and you can keep repeating this chord progression as much as you like. Notice if you go back to the G, these two fingers are gonna be moving 
together again. So from the C, back to the G, C add nine to G. It's just, well, a movement of two fingers together, same places. Let's go up to speed, do it one more time. So three, four. Very effective. So just to summarize, what you need to do here is keep those two fingers down, move everything else at the same time as much as you can around those. And don't forget, uh, you know, to try and make it as smooth as possible. So good luck with that. Have fun playing it. And I'll see you with another chord progression.